my older sister was dancing when I was younger, and I just wanted to copy whatever she was doing. Um, I was about seven when I started, did some ballet and jazz and fell in love with it, and I've been doing it ever since. Something that I've definitely learned from other people is to just be true to yourself and try not to be what other people want you to be. Um, so I would say that, just being kind to yourself as to what you want to do. Um, take care of your body, especially for dancers. It's physically exhausting to be on stage all the time. Finally, I think I would just say, like, enjoy what you do and remember why you love it. Uh, it's supposed to be fun. It's not just supposed to be serious the whole time. So just finding a balance between amusement and also creativity and professionalism. I think body image was a big thing that I dealt with a bit younger. Um, I still kind of do deal with it and we all deal with it. Um, because, you know, you're in front of a mirror all day, so you see every flaw, every mistake that you have. Um, but something that has helped me overcome that is just to realize that there isn't one type of dancer, body type wise, mentally, physically, creatively, like we're all just artists at the end of the day. And however you look and how tall you are, or how skinny you are, like that is just a part of you, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna be a good dancer or a good artist. So I think just making sure that I stay true to what I believe in and what I stand for, um, even if that means that, you know, I don't have a lot of money, you know, it, like that doesn't matter to me. It's as long as what I'm putting out there and what I'm like showing other people is truthful and means like the most to me.